hey there and welcome back to my craft room this is card number two in my March friends I like seashells class by mail got myself a glass of water which I will take advantage of as time goes by I'm just going to check my volume again uh, see how this webcam this little lapel can Oh, yep, that seems right. Um, seems to be working okay, so let's hope that continues. I've fixed the light a little bit in, in here. I think just made the blinds a little bit more direct, so there's no shadows on our work. But anyway, here we go. We're going to do card number two, and the other two are in well, no particular order. But I must say, I prefer this one to the last one. I'm not a pink person, so I really included the last card for the pink lovers out there, um, of which I am not one. Um, but hey, you know, got to cater for all sorts and I'm sure it's lovely and will be useful for you, the last card, when we get there. But I do quite like this one. Lots of lovely layers and textures and we get to use some more of the stamps that we didn't use in the first card. And also we're using the um, the pearl, the opal um, embellishments that we talked about that actually come with the collect excuse me, with the collection. Okay, so we'll just get everything out. Uh, now I have a slight apology to make with this one um, you probably notice on the original card that um, I used stitched squares as the background um, elements in my original card um, but I couldn't do that with the kits um, because I've had an issue with my um, stitched rectangle dies and my die cutting machine so I can't uh, couldn't use that so I've given you comparably sized pieces of cardstock and paper um, but I think they're just as nice they're just lacking that um, that stitched effect anyway I've got myself in a bit of a tangle here and you want one of those this is a really lovely linen twine which is in the current catalogue so um, if you like it here please pop in and buy some more it's really nice it seems to last forever too I think it's a bit longer than the normal okay what else have I got here okay so for each card you will need or you will have a card base now this card base is in um, Sahara sand so it's a little bit different to normal just give that a bit of a score we've got it so a normal size card base um, eight and a quarter by five and three quarters we're going to be this is going to be a landscape card so we're actually going to be doing it this way with the opening at the bottom you've got another panel of Sahara sand that has actually been popped through the 3d embossing folder in, in the keen eyed amongst you will realize that my embossing goes um, top to bottom whereas you should all have it so, um, left to right um, left to right is right I just popped my particular one through the embossing folder with the wrong at the wrong angle so I thought that's fine I'll just use it you have a panel of this really lovely designer series paper so this is the first time today we've seen the designer series paper it really is lovely um, it's got some nice sort of blues and things as well but it really uses this is um, blushing bride and um, the Sahara sand as well so it's really really nice um, that actually might be um, flirty flamingo anyway the nice pink and the, the the sort of Sahara sand and the blue really nice together in that little um, sort of sea anemone no I don't know what they'd be sort of um, design and then you've got a slightly smaller panel of basic white and that's the one that's just going to sit on top and we're going to pop our decorations and stamping and stuff on that then you obviously got a larger panel of whisper white that will go inside your card so you can write on it and then you've got various panels of um, spare basic white for your stamping and your cutting out and your embellishments and your um, dimensionals in there as well so let's get started what we might do is just layer up first of all our embossed panel and our inside panel into our card just get those out of the way so I don't lose them you guys know what I'm like when it comes to losing things put them all together and then I can't lose them so just pop that on there this should just have this tiny tiny tiniest um, border around it just uh, just a smidgen
Now the um, I do find with that 3D embossing panel it does actually distort, it weakens the paper somewhat. Um, so you might, once you've done this, um, pop the whole thing under a heavy book or something just to um, make sure the glue sets completely and you get a nice flat effect if that's what you like. You might like your things a little bit crinkly so it's up to you. But at the same time I might actually pop our um, uh, our de designer series paper on. So we're going to glue that on and we're going to glue it towards the top right hand corner. So probably just bring it in I don't know a quarter of an inch top and bottom and that's where we're going to glue it. We're leaving a larger um, border towards the left and the bottom there. Just sort of an, a bit of an overlay effect. There we are, so just leaving that one, we'll glue that in there. So you probably wonder why I bothered popping that um, panel through the embossing folder, given that we're going to cover most of it over with um, stamping and images and things. I don't know, it just seemed too plain without it. I think I'm actually quite addicted to the 3D embossing folder and if it hasn't got some sort of embossing it just seems too plain so there we are that's my latest addiction okay I'm going to get that grab um, just some um, put it under a pile of stamps um, just to give it a little bit of pressure just while I, we do the rest of what we're doing there we are okay so we might do our stamping now so we've got some scraps of basic white move everything out of the way so I don't forget where I am and we're going to stamp the big beautiful shell there the, the two small um, sort of scallop shells and the um, the little um, smaller of the two sort of um, conch shells as well so we're going to do the large shell in our Sahara sand looking at that I hope I've actually made the my, my particular strips big enough I may have to fiddle it a little bit to make sure I get that all in we're going to uh, again fussy cut so as long as it's onto the piece of paper you'll be right there we are that's pretty good then the get rid of that then the um, the small sh conch shell I'm going to do in seaside spray. There we are. I do actually have a new seaside spray stamp head. That one's a little bit worse for wear. And our two little shells here, our two little scallop shells, scallop type shells. Please don't tell me in the comments that I've misnamed them. These are going to be in Blushing Bride. So I did mention in when I advertised this um, this class that the three colours we were using were the Sahara Sand, the Seaside Spray and the Blushing Bride. So if you haven't got those colours and you want to get them, um, they're available in markers, blends, refills, stamp pads. You can use all those different things. I'm just going to fussy cut these. You could use the dies, as I mentioned in the first video. But the shapes are just so beautifully uniform. It doesn't really qualify as fussy cutting. It's just cutting. There's nothing much fussy about it. And as I said, you can choose how much white you do or don't leave, depending on your personal taste. So I don't usually fussy cut for videos, but these are, as I say, pretty easy and quick. like watching paint dry I think or in this case ink dry there's one that's the biggest one
Now, if you were using the dies, I'd probably suggest you just, for the sake of using all four, um, die cut like a big whole die. And I showed you the die in the previous video. Just die cut a whole die in Whisper White and then um, cut them down and stamp them separately, I think would be the way to go. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to get your um, stamps in the right positions to uh, get them in the right for die cutting after you've stamped. It would be a way of doing it, which I've featured in other videos, but um, I think this is probably easier. You could use like a template if you wanted to. Seems to be a lot of mucking around though. Just four, four little images. Last one. And then we're pretty much going to just assemble. To disappear between videos because I, although I said I'm here on my own I'm not actually completely alone um, my son's new kitten is here with me and uh, I had to go and lock him in a room because I um, I don't like it when I can't lay eyes on him especially when I'm looking after him there'd be nothing worse than have something happen um, to somebody's animal uh, while you're looking after them okay so we've got our four little shapes there so this is our other piece of um, whisper white cardstock the smaller one we're going to use this for the stamping and the decorating so what I might do first of all is do our sentiment so I'm going to use the, the larger sentiment out of the set which is missing is a, a sentiment says friends this sort of goes with the theme friends are like seashells you collect them along the way and I know that most lots of us have children who you take them for a walk and you come home with a million seashells which to them become the most precious things in the world and you try to go and throw them away um, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys sticks shells pebbles that might have just been a boy thing feathers oh gosh we ended up with the lot so I'm just going to stamp that sentiment in the towards the top right hand corner of our little um, uh, panel our layer just in black there like that then what I'm going to do is bring in this beautiful linen thread and twine I'm going to put pop it um, and do this straight away so that the shells can lay on top of it so I'm going to turn take it round two two or three times depends on how much you've got might just take it round twice you should have enough twine to at least do it twice and then I'll give it a little bow so I'm going to tie a little bow over here towards the um, the right hand right hand side. Yeah, right hand side. Got my left and my right mixed up there for a minute. Just a little bow. You could just do it as a if you weren't into the bows, you could do it as a little just a little knot if you wanted to. There we are. You could just cut that off now and leave it as that. I'm not actually attaching it because I might need to move it more towards the left or towards the right when I add my shells, but I think that's about the right position. So if I glued it down at the back like I usually do, you wouldn't be able to move it. Yeah, just a wee bow there like that. I'll trim that long end off. There we are. Cool. Alright, 
right so now we can layer up our um, shells and things so I am actually going to pop these shells up on um, dimensionals and they are going to overlap a little bit so make sure you pop your dimensionals on the parts of the shell that are actually going to contact with the with the base underneath so um, sort of just a bit of an experiment as you go sort of more towards the center more towards the center of the shell not so much towards the edges would be a safe rule probably add some more than that but I think probably the four four or five will be okay okay so I'm going to pop this one now hang on I'll show you I've got another card here to go on so it's probably easier or fairer of me to show you where it's going to go so this is eventually going to go there so I'm going to pop this on dimensionals as well so this this panel so I'll just show you this so you can see where to put your shells so this one is going to pop just there just like that I'm going to bring in our blue one our little blue conch shell pop dimensionals on the back of that as well so it's going to pop just there just sort of so its little nose is just on our um, our bigger shell there a big spirally shell so you can see where you need to put the dimensionals for him so probably just up to halfway don't put one at his nose because then you'll you'll end up with dimensional build up which is difficult like that you could pop a little bit of glue under there if that worries you but I'm not going to bother with this at this stage there we are okay so our little two pink shells I'm going to bring those in just where those two shells are just to, to just to complete the, the sort of corner effect of that so I'm actually just going to glue this one because it's going to mostly overlap our big conch shell a big round uh, spirally shell oh gonna have to go that way now that's where I've put the glue there we are and the little one little scallop shell I'm just gonna pop oh, phew, oh landed glue side up what a relief I'm gonna pop him there as well just at a little angle there we are so you can see there we've got them sort of forming a corner of shells there aren't we sort of down towards that bottom left hand corner and I'm okay with the position of that bow I don't have to move it around too much I'm quite okay with it there okay so as I said we're going to set this up on dimensionals as well hopefully you've got enough dimensionals I'm just finishing off the dimensionals from the first card so hopefully I gave you enough uh, please let me know if I didn't and I'll pop some more through to you You can cut them in half to get make them go further, but then they become really fiddly, these little ones. So let's see how you go. Most card makers have dimensionals or foam squares in abundance anyway. So now we're going to pop this onto our card base. Same sort of um, gap that you left at the right, uh, right and top of that first piece is the same sort of thing you want to do with the second one. So it's in the bottom left hand corner of your card. There we are. It's a bit hard to tell if it's straight because you've got shells there, but you can sort of tell by the go by eye. Okay. Now we're going to bring in the pearl, the opalized embellishments, which are here. You should have three for each of your cards, or three each, so six all up. I've got some in here. Here we are. So these are really lovely. They sort of catch the light and you get sort of lots of different colours reflected back at you. So they're, they're really, really pretty and, and very um, seashelly, like a mother of pearl. We're going to bring those in, as I say, wherever you feel you like them. 
Uh, I still struggle with the positioning of embellishments. Sometimes I go around and around and around and around until I'm sort of happy with where I put them, but I'm never quite happy. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a quandary. There we are. I'll move a little bit crooked there, I think. But now the dimensionals won't move, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so there is our card number two. So we've got our panel on the inside. You could pop a, another little seashell or a sentiment or something in there. I won't dictate what you what you do with that. You put a birthday or a it's a fairly sort of um, sort of general um, sentiment on front there. You could um, you could uh, you could match that with anything like a good uh, get well soon or or something like that. Oh, he's moved off. How did you move off there? Here we are. He's gone for a little trip. Okay, so that's card number two. I hope you like that one. I think that's quite sweet. It's sort of a, more of an earthy thing. You, uh, we could probably get away of making it like a masculine card as well because it's like um, it's quite an earthy um, colour. Um, I do s uh, point out that, and I haven't made it um, part of the recipe, but those shells on my original card, I have actually put... Um, wink of Stella on them just to give them a little bit of a gleam I don't know if you can pick that up on the on the image yes you can so those have got some Wink of Stella on them um, but that's up to you entirely um, I sort of did it and then I wasn't really sure that it improved it too much but um, yeah it's up to you so there's one with Wink of Stella and there's our one that we've just done without Wink of Stella so yeah, that's up to you um, anyway so that is card number two of our class today. I hope you enjoy that one. You could do that. that, that this design with the two um, squares of, of cardstock or designer series paper is um, just so versatile. You can use it in any number of, um, of designs. And I just really love that layered effect of those little shells there, which is really, really nice. So, okay, as I said, card number two done and dusted. Um, I'll be back fairly shortly. I've sort of moved off to the right hand side, haven't I? I'll be back fairly shortly with the final card for this class. <laughs>